Welcome to the Lost World Museum where we're going to do Battle of the Flood stories. For those of you out there who've never heard of Gilgamesh epic, here's good old Gilgamesh. He lived at a time of 1800 BC and he wrote 13 tablets, the 11th tablet of which has the flood story on it. It is older than the Genesis account. The Genesis account found in the Bible is from 1440 BC. The Gilgamesh epic tablet that was found in 1872 is from 1800 BC. There is a 350 year difference between the two and critics of the Bible or the Genesis account of, of Noah state that he got, that is Moses who wrote it, he got his ideas from the Gilgamesh epic tablet. Therefore, Moses is a plagiarist. Is there any way of determining whether or not that's true? That's what we're gonna find out in this episode. So stick around. All right, we've seen all the background information. We've seen the models. We know what the, the issue is among the critics of the Gilgamesh epic versus the uh, book of Genesis. I guess now the proof is in the pudding. I guess we need to prove it. The Gilgamesh epic has to prove itself as well as the book of Genesis through their own design that are cataloged and documented in their own words. So the Gilgamesh epic, as you know, has a cube-like structure that's 192 feet by 192 feet by 192 feet, and again, has nine levels. Doesn't look very, uh, doesn't look like a very seaworthy craft, does it? The book of Genesis has it at six to one ratio, 450 feet by 75 by 45 feet high, three levels, and again, it looks like an oil tanker, built like an oil tanker. Let's do this one first. Noah's Ark, Genesis, here we go. Oh, that's some rough seas coming up here. And look at that. You can, you can turn this thing almost 90 degrees and it doesn't turn, it does not, it does not tip over. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Gilgamesh epic version and see what happens. You ready? Oh, those poor animals inside. And we didn't even get any wave action going. All right, let's do some wave action. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's kind of touch it like we did the other. Oh, are we treating this fairly? Is this an, is this an honest experiment? So which is superior? The Gilgamesh epic, even though it's 350 years older, or the account in the book of Genesis? Here's an idea. The reason why this is superior is because the source is more pure. The real story came out and God was setting the record straight because for 700 years after the flood, there was apostasy and there was all sorts of twisting of the story. <laughs> Ironically enough, they're saying that this is the story that got twisted because of being a younger story. When in fact, this is the story that got twisted for 700 years of apostasy and pagan worship and whatnot. But they still had a flood legend, but they passed it down and it got a little bit weird. And if you read it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And this is, they gave the dimensions. This is their own words in Sumerian text and cuneiform. And this is the dimensions in the book of Genesis. I believe God was setting the record straight through Moses in 1440 BC, from the time of the creation to the fall of man, to Noah's Ark and beyond. All right, who's the winner? I believe it's Genesis and I believe it's this story right here, Noah's Ark. And thank you very much for participating.